Hello everyone, Inventor719 here, and in today's how-to video, we are going to be making a um, airsoft pen zip kind of gun. And for this project, what you'll need is, of course, your pen. I have a metal one here. I think metal or hard plastic would be the best for this project. You're going to need some um, popsicle sticks or something of equivalence. Two elastics, pretty strong ones. Pocket knife, electrical tape a Dremel saw or equivalent cutting tool with this little blade and safety glasses because we will be using the Dremel to cut up our metal pen so there'll be filings going everywhere and really quickly before we start the video if you hadn't seen my last little video about my new China Dremel I bought you'll know that the plug was different as you can see I have soldered on a new plug so now the Dremel works great. So uh, let's get started on how to make your very own pen gun. First step is essentially what we're going to be doing is making a slot to fit our popsicle stick inside, out the other side, and long enough so you can pull it back like this, and then a notch to lock it in place. So we're going to be using our Dremel, cutting it up like this, and I recommend you don't hold on to it with your hands. So what I have for that are these uh, voice grips. I'm going to put them like this, clamp it on the end there, and put on my safety glasses and start cutting out a slot on the first side all the way down the length of my pen. So it turns out that this metal pen will not work because once I hit um, this little piece that connects the two halves together, it's split right apart as you can see just like that so you cannot use a pen with two different parts like this so scrap that and now what I have here is a hard plastic it cannot be a soft plastic pen and I'm going to gut it just so it's a tube and then do the same process I'm going with a black pen because it's easier to see on the camera than a red pen anyway do the same thing I tried with a metal pen So there's the first side of the slot and using your pocket knife just run it along the outside kind of like this to deburr it and the first time you do it it will be quite rough as you can see there's mine uh, it's a little rough but the idea is to make it as smooth as possible and so that you can slide your popsicle stick easily so as you can see it gets a little bit tight right there so I'm going to try and modify it so this entire slot can fit my popsicle stick very nicely. So there's the final slot. As you can see I can slide it through very nicely. Um, I did make it on a bit of an angle so if you do this try not to make it that crappy. But anyway now to do the other side if as long as your pen is not too big what you can do is put your Dremel like this, turn it on and just run one little strip and it should make a mark on the other side and then basically I'm going to copy this exact slot onto this side here directly across the pen as best you can of course it's pretty tough so there's my final slot as you can see goes through both sides it's quite rough but it does the job put your popsicle stick through and you can slide it back and forth Oh, so it a, goes a little bit farther on this side here as you can see so I have to fix that but anyway the next step other than that is to make your trigger at the back. So what we're going to do, uh, you'll have to be very careful because as you can see, we don't have much of a clear, like much material left. So what you want to do is notch out both sides so it can essentially be put in like this and bent sideways like this and then it'll get locked in place. So what I'm going to do is notch out with my Dremel a little spot right here carefully and a very little spot right here so on opposite sides so on the right of, well I guess on the right of this one and on the right of this one as well and uh, I'll show you how to do that right now we're going to be notching out right about here 
So twist them sideways and get going. And on the other side. So essentially, that's kind of what I wanted to do. It's a little rough. I might clean it up off camera and uh, probably make it a little bit bigger so that it can fit my popsicle stick. So it isn't the best carving job, but here's my slot right here. And when you bring it all the way back, you can twist it like this way. So as you can see, when I push down, nothing happens. But to fire, you'll twist and it'll get slammed down right there. So now let's attach our elastics. So first, um, I cut my popsicle stick in half so it's a little shorter. And then take your elastic, line it up with the slot, and tape it right there. And tape one exact same by pinching it on the other side just like that. So here I have attached the two elastics and now going to take your stick put it through the one through the other one and if you want you can tape them just like that but essentially if you pull it back twist it and lock it in position you are ready to fire. Here we go with the testing of the pen gun. Um, for ammo I'm using these little toy suction dart things as BBs don't actually fit in the pen, this pen exactly. So again to load it, put it in the barrel, twist it back all the way, um, twist it a little off centered so it just sits in there like that and then push this all the way in, bring it over here and it looks like we are ready to fire. Here we go, firing in three, two, one. Oh, that was bad, let's try again. Here we go, second test. Ammo is loaded, firing in three, two, one. Not bad. Here's the final test, I've tightened my elastics by looping them around once more. I don't want to do it too much though because my pen back here is very fragile. That's why I was hoping to have a metal pen, but oh well. Um, yeah, I don't know if the pen will even hold this much, but oh well, let's see. Firing in three, two, one. There you go, that wasn't bad. Anyway, um, thanks for watching everyone. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this very little project. I know it wasn't anything special. But uh, I have a few cool videos planned. Actually, I'll give you a hint right now. So, um, quickly before I end this video, uh, for my next video, I will be making a very big taser, I think. Uh, if you don't remember, I got a whole bunch of these disposable cameras that have been used. But the circuits can still be used to make tasers. I'm going to try and wire a bunch of them together and make some sort of very cool taser device. So thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed my little uh, pen gun video, it was simple, easy to make, and as always please like, comment, and subscribe, thanks for watching.